Okay, so today we're going to take a look at how to set up in Moodle a virtual programming lab exercise using Fortran as the target code uh, language. All right, so we're going to have a VPL assignment chosen. We're going to choose it right in here, so add an activity. And so I've chosen VPL, and I'm going to give it a name. This, this assignment that would be given to a student is a simple little hello world assignment that we're going to do just to make sure that uh, things are working. And we're going to use the uh, developers, the VPL developers uh, server to, to run the code. Uh, normally we would run it on our local servers, but I don't have uh, Fortran configured on it, so we're going to use the VPL server one in Spain. Uh, the grade is going to be out of 100 for this assignment, and basically we just need to match up Hello World in both uh, the student assignment nut and uh, in the test case. If you were setting up your own local server, you would be doing it here or connecting to a local server, you'd do it here and you'd put the end of jails line right afterwards. Okay, so next up, we're going to set up uh, the execution, or let's see, in this case, I guess we'll go with requested files. This is the template that we give to the students. So we have to give it a good name and we have to make sure the file extension is recognizable as a Fortran 90 file. All right, so hit save. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna write a little Fortran program. This is the first time I've done Fortran in uh, about 30 years or so. Uh, last time I did Fortran was in my um, master's degree program at the University of Alberta. And we used the Nick Ravesh textbook on dynamic systems. Uh, we were reading it and uh, converting it into a visual basic program at the time. So here we go. So this is Hello World in Fortran. Save it. And we'll go back to the main part of the uh, assignment here. Go into the gear, execution options. We're going to make sure within um, execution options that uh, we have access to a run option, an evaluate option, and we specify it as Fortran. Okay, so we want run and evaluate and auto grading as well. Hit save. And we move on. So we've got our execution options done. We've got our execution. Oh, we have to do execution files as well. So this right here is where we're going to put the test cases in VPL evaluate cases. So case is test one, and we want to specify what the output is that we're looking for. This is a string that we're going to compare to what is produced by the Fortran program. Okay, so it's just hello world. And we'll do a comparison between the two. All right, so next up, we are going to switch up into demo student mode or fake student mode. And I just did that. Click on the assignment. That's the template that's given to the students. I can go and edit it. And so if there was a thing that had to be added or changed in here, this is where the student would do it in the editor. I just hit the rocket run icon. It compiles and runs it. We can see hello world specified right there. I'm gonna evaluate it for grade. Okay, so hopefully, oh, nuts, I made a mistake. Okay, so there's not quite a complete match between the, uh, uh, the thing, the string that I'm looking for and the string that was produced. Turns out there's an extra space um, being created. So what I've got to do is I've got to modify that. All right, so the program output adds a space just before hello world. So I'm going to return to instructor mode and uh, I'm going to modify the string that is the standard by which we do the grading. All right, so I'm in execution files. We're going to go to the test case. We're going to add a space right there just before hello world. All right, there we go. And now we're going to run that again. Okay, so I switch back to demo student mode or fake student mode. Go back to my assignment. Run it. All right, we can see that space right there. We gotta capture that space in the uh, answer. We're gonna evaluate it and we should now have a perfect grade, a perfect response. There we go, one test run, one test passed. Get a grade out of 100. We can also check in the grade book from the student perspective, whether or not the grade was actually entered into the grade book. And sure enough, it was, you can see it right there.